Okay, so what we're doing on a Sunday, Sunday morning is stretching a, a canvas for a big commission. This is called uh, 12 ounce duck. Really heavyweight canvas, it's almost like a tent canvas. You want at least two or three inches wrap around. So we've got the beveled side down. So we start at one end. The idea is that you keep the tension as equal as possible and we start our first staple. So I'm going to stick, there's no tension required for that. You always staple on the diagonal because that, and always put two and that eliminates a lot of the tension. If you did them vertically like that, it would, it would put more tension on the canvas. So we go to the opposite end. So we're going to come down this end. Pull it as tight as you can with your hands and then we use the stretcher bars. A little too much canvas here actually, but use the stretcher bars and we're going to pull this. You put the heel of the stretcher bar against the edge, heel of the, of the pliers I should say, or the claws against the edge of the stretcher bars. Then just hold it with your fingers. Another two staples in there. Watch your fingers. <clears throat> You'll never forget the day you put a staple in your finger. <laughs> Then to the other side. So again, you stretch it with just with your hands. You don't want too much tension at this point. We're going to give all the tension to the other side. Diagonal. <coughs> again, these are heavy duty staples. Heavy duty stapler, um, about a half an inch. We go to this side, stretch your pliers, stretch your claws. There's different names for these things. Dig the heel, <coughs> excuse me, dig the heel into the stretcher. Hold it with your thumb. Like the diagonal. So now you've got four-way tension on that. Now it's just a case of moving around, evenly spaced. Move around the canvas. So now it's time to do the corners. The corners are a, it's a little bit like making a bed fold. So you corner, you sort of rabbit ear it like that. And then you cut the, you need to cut the excess off. Now we're dealing with really heavy grade canvas here, so the corner folds are a little trickier. Because what we have to do, we have to cut it, tuck it in. and have it line up almost perfectly to the corner of the canvas. It's a little bit like making a bed. Not that I would know about these things, but <laughs> that's how it wants to look. And you want to put at least three or four staples in there. You really have that hole, but that's the way a corner should look. Each corner is going to be done like that. And again, once you get all your gesso, when you do gesso and you seal, you wrap it right around again because it creates tension in the canvas and you want the tension to be equal everywhere. So I'm going to do the other four corners. So we have a 51 inch by 66 inch canvas ready for priming. 
So the next step is basically to wet it down. Um, it doesn't have to be absolutely soggy, but it needs to be wet. And then you use your GAC or um, <clears throat> some people have used wood glue. I'm not sure about the acidity in wood glue. Rabbit skin glue is something you can use. You can use a cheaper gesso if you like. Put that down first, then use your more expensive gesso over the top. But it's going to need two or three coats of gesso at least. Um, in this case, more like four or five, and sand between each coat, and then sand your final layer. But that's it. Easy, easy, easy job. If you buy these stretcher bars, you can buy them from any art store, pretty much. And you buy them to size. Cut them down if you need to. Always cut them on the diagonal and make sure they're well braced and glued down. So it's very strong. Very strong canvas. And that is that.